hello hello we have today guys we are making fish uh, i'm gonna deep fry deep fry some fish today um a bit clouded here but i'll just show you as we go so i have two fresh fish here they're really fresh i've got them from, from the fish manga um i think it's mackerel or something not too sure but i love fish so we're gonna make that with uh, vegetable as in like tomato and onion so on that we have i have a full onion that i already chopped in two because we're gonna blend it today we're not gonna chop it so we have a blender on the side here so this um the paprika will be in the blender with the tomato so we have two fresh tomato half red um, bell pepper or paprika whatever you call it and the green one and half a tomato we have two cloves of medium-sized garlic and we have um, what you call parsley and mint and we also have some spring onions um, that is overgrowing again in my kitchen we have them here um, so we'll blend it so we'll start just quickly by chopping half of the onions that is going to go in the blender um, we we'll just chop it in big chunks because we are blending it you we'll see so i want to make uh, some concentrate sauce for that so what we do is just chop the herbs that we have in hand you can use any type of herbs these are what normally goes with fish so all that goes in the blender we just want to do that to clear the surface quickly and sometimes i prepare all the ingredients but some of my subscribers don't like seems to understand it so i decided to just be quick and then um, we will serve that with white rice you the fish that is cooking can be eaten with anything potato uh, rice uh, noodles or any other some African stuff yams you can eat with couscous um, fufu or anything depend on which type of the world you come from so that is aside and then we have also some lake because in fish uh, normally what we do is we put more than enough herb in it so and that you're gonna have to add in a little bit of water to blend it properly just a drip of it and you chop in the tomato just in big chunk and that will go also in the blender you want to make sure you have at least two tomatoes so you have nice sauce um, preparation will take few minutes but then when we start cooking it goes very quick because we are going today um, we're going to deep fry it as you must know by now I don't use a lot of oil but in today cooking um, we are going to use lots of oil to really deep fry this fish not just to steam it so on here we will come and then because we have two parts of onions and the chopped one uh, chopped in small dice and then the one that we are going to blend it so this one we put aside the chopped one in medium size they will go in one side so what we do here we'll spare you the noise and then we'll get back to okay we finish uh, chopping i chopped the fish already um i'll cut the fish right up so what we're doing here we're starting to add as i mentioned it earlier on this is sunflower and today we're gonna have a lot of oil because the fish need to be deep fried um yeah the visitors i have today to fry their fish really deep fry and we keep the head for those of you who do not like to eat the head you don't have to have the head and but here today we are 
keeping it. And on that we are going to just sprinkle some fine sea salt. Um, we just sprinkling it. And today I'm not going to use a flour to fry the fish. We will just try to fry it normally like that. So now I have a mixture of um, fish spice. I made my own mixture. I always mix them together. Uh, what I think is good for me. So you can use any fish um, spice that you have in your home. The one that you prefer best. So for me, it's this one. It's just a lot of um, spices mixed together. This worked for me. So we just marinate them quickly. We're not going to marinate them and let them sit. No, no. This one we just marinate and deep fry immediately. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Um, okay. This is recyclable organic paper. I know some of you will comment and say paper shouldn't be there. Yeah. This is not the uh, no sieve paper so this cup of kitchen cloth can be used i'm just going to do that because there's still some water coming out after i've dried enough so oil have to be really hot so that's what we're going to do oil must be hot here i have blended uh, all the ingredients here off camera because it's a bit too noisy um, so we marinate while the, the fire is taking off. Just marinate as you want, but I like to do it this way. Um, so it depends again of which type of visitor or how do you want to eat. You don't have to do it this way, but yeah, today that's how we are cooking. So you make sure you just marinate the fish properly. We're missing one here. This is just to make sure that the flavor or your marinade goes in, the spices actually. Again, if you don't eat the head, you can throw it away. When you have the full fish, you don't have to cook the head the way I'm doing now. But again, we are cooking the head, so that's it's just like that so that's it this is done with just few seconds and the oil should be enough for us to start throwing in the fish um, you can put less or more spice but not too much on the outside because it will burn in the hot oil so that's why I'm putting inside the fish that's it that's it and that's it so we're done the rest of the spice can be added at a later stage so now we will start frying our fish we need uh, one extra dish okay we're running in some problem there I don't know. the oil is flying all over so now oil should be enough guys you have to be very careful that's why I don't like to deep fry my fish because it's just a bit a challenge so that's what we do it's a tefal I know but you know to just be on the safe side that the fish will not stick to the pan that's what you do and make sure oil is really not boiling hot but hot enough um, to be able to fry your fish nicely so I think I can start going in um, yeah that should be enough so you put it and we're not gonna overcook over fry it because we're still gonna cook it in the tomato so now this is typical um, way of me making deep fried fish so that's it just make sure you have enough room 
in your pot to be able to turn your fish. So everything is in except from the head. So we'll put that one side, fire is burning and then we will let it cook about a minute or two on each side. So to make sure that it's deep fried. Sorry guys, I don't know why the helicopter is flying close to the house like that, but yeah, okay. So that, again, as I mentioned earlier, it will be served with white rice. So we'll leave that for a few minutes, about two minutes to cook. And then, but you just have to check also to make sure that you are not burning your fish. So, again, it's going to be really cooked when we turn. Yeah, so you see this side, we are about to turn. So don't leave your fish and go far away from you. So we let it cook again for a few seconds. And then we turn. And we will just have to monitor it. Yeah, that's it. We turn perfect. So when your fish is fresh and in the paper or so it helps, so it's not done. You just turn it this way. You can cook more than this. You can fry actually more than this. But for me it's enough. But we're still gonna cook again in the sauce. So we're gonna make the tomato sauce. That's it. So let that cook two minutes on each side. And then we remove that. So we we'll let it cook for another two minutes. And we we'll remove that and we will proceed. So here we will have uh, some oil again in this pot. We we'll start the cooking there by adding without the oil being too hot. We have to just add the tomato before the oil is overheat. And then we will just make sure that the, when the pot starts heating up properly, it starts pulling out the aroma of the onions. And that's it. And immediately after that, we will add. So we're done here. Guys, I've finished um, the frying process. Uh, have to be off camera because I have to put the fan. Um, you know when deep frying fish it smells a lot so I had to put the fan into ex the extractor actually to to pull the smell so the rest of the spices is here the onion starts swelling and this is what we blended it look more like a salsa I don't want to over blend it so that's it and we will just let this start frying a little bit and we will add the you can have more oil here at this stage if you want more oil but for me i will stick to that is more than enough and then we will go in adding what we have blend what we have blended here so that should go in now, before the onion overcook, and we put the fire at the down, we reduce it, so we will come with a lot of tomato sauce. I think this should be enough, we will leave the rest for the other day, that's it. Or we could still go in with, now that's enough. We leave that one and let it cook for five minutes. This is the rest of spices that we marinate with. So we're going to use it in here. Because I'm not using stock cube on this. We'll use this one. 
and we're not gonna overcook this tomato you see how delicious this looks so we're not gonna overcook it we will let it cook for five to six minutes after that we will add a little bit of sweet paprika and then a little bit of thyme that can go in now just a sprinkle of thyme that's it not too much and then we will start preparing our plate because once we add this fish uh, the fish in is not going to take long because the fish is already deep fry so we will go very quick on that and we just start to prepare our plate that's it let it just cook a few more minutes and then we'll start the dishing process Okay, we come back to check how our sauces, tomato sauce is doing. Yep, okay, perfect. Time to go in with paprika, just to give the taste, not to change the color completely. Uh, really pinch of paprika, and then we will start adding in our fish. Yeah, so that's those perfectly perfect. That's it. We'll add just a slight water in it just to bind everything. And that's it. Okay, I think this should be enough. That's it. Okay, my pot seems to be small now. Perfect. You just have to make room. As I mentioned earlier, you will put a water just a bit, not too much. That's it. Fish is already cooked. This is just to give some sort of sauce for for the rice. Okay, guys. So now three minutes more, and the food is ready. Because we don't overcook this one; it's already over <laughs> deep fried. So we're not gonna cook. And if you are those who believe that uh, fish should cook more than that, you are more than welcome to let it on the stove for another 20 or, or 30 minutes. It's really up to you, but this is how I do it. So you just put this sauce and cover it. We can, that's it. Then there really now we, Start preparing the plate. You just wipe this one quickly. And then the surface must always be clean. Perfect. And we put the plate down. We, on, at this level you need to reduce the fire because the food is ready. We start the dishing up process. That's it. Just make sure you have enough room here. That's it. We we'll just one last. It's been about a minute and a half, so we check. That's it. Perfect. We'll see how it's going and it smells delicious. That's it. We prepare as we mentioned earlier we have our rice boiled rice 
white rice already there we spare you again today the boiling of the white rice and we will start the process of dishing up that's it okay here we come now if you don't have the you can dish it up any way that you like small pot of rice plain white rice with really nothing special in it so we just go in and start by just dishing up for one because the other people will eat with something else so that's how we go and then you switch it off because fish is really ready uh, and then that we go i have to use normally the spatula but yeah, today we'll just do it this way that's it press it down Just pull it. Perfect. And now we come with the fish. Dishing. Let's just have a last look. Yeah, it's perfect. So we have switched it off already. And now we come. And then dish. It's okay so now the fire is off and then we come in here need to just put the fish in one side surely you can put the fish on top if you want to now we'll just show it to you for deco and the sauce also goes around here and one more fish fish sorry that goes this way but well, that's a lot though but just to show you what you could do you don't need to put the sauce on top the soup shouldn't go on top if you don't want to just put it aside like this and that's it And then you come with your parsley. Just for the call. Today we're not gonna put a lot of stuff on it. And voila. You could make it look more as usual with my dry parsley. Just that set aside, side. And it can also go just slightly on top that set. And voila, this is our fresh fish on the bed of rice. Just simple deep fry fish. Okay, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, let us know what other easy menu you want us to cook. And we will see you in the next video. Share, please, subscribe, comment. Cheers, bye.